Hello everyone, my name is Sharon and I'm reaching out to you today because I want to talk to you about a very, very insidious cancer. Specifically, I'm talking about ovarian cancer. It's very deadly and I'm living with it. I say living with it because there is no cure from, from it. So, it's not a question of, of if I will die from it, it's just a matter of when. Um, it's been all of about four years that I've been living with this uh, particular illness now. Uh, in fact, I have hair. This is the first time, if you look closely, the first time I've ever had hair and wavy, no doubt, no point, uh, actually. And I have some little gray hairs that have popped in as a result, but you know what, I'm proud of it because otherwise, I really didn't have to be here to even have the hair. But for the last four years, I've been going commando style and that was due to all of the chemotherapy treatments that I had been subjected to but it's a blessing because that's why my life has been extended as it has and actually I'm currently on uh, radiation therapy I have about four more days from the from today so that was a whole nother journey but it took me all of four years to realize okay hey I'm here I'm living with stage 4 cancer and I've gone through the whole journey of the the shock, um, the paralyzing fear, uh, the depression and then ultimately the anger which I'm glad I had the anger because had I not have had the anger uh, I would not have had the attitude that I have today that says okay so you're trying to rob me of my body right now but I'll be darn and I did not say darn if you're going to rob me of my spirit. So I'm coming at you today because I want to warn all you beautiful women out there and sisters about this cancer. My cancer in short was discovered uh, in February 2007 when I was admitted into the hospital for pneumonia. I didn't know I had the pneumonia. So not only did I almost die from pneumonia, I was then diagnosed with one of the most dangerous cancers that one can have. Not to say that no cancer is dangerous. They are all deadly. But dangerous more so in the sense of the location of my cancer being deep within the abdomen. You can almost put it on, equate it on the same level as pancreatic cancer because again it too is deep within the abdomen. And the reason that it is so dangerous is because uh, it's usually way, way, way too late. Uh, the symptoms do not manifest themselves usually immediately and so usually by the time it is discovered it's way in the latter stages usually three or four and you really really don't want to wait to three or four as I did because now I'm dying of ovarian cancer and so I'm here posting this video upon which I plan to post subsequent videos because I want to warn all of you women out there or perhaps a loved one who has recently been diagnosed with ovarian cancer I want to help empower you with the knowledge of what the symptoms are perhaps and the symptoms are very insidious in that they mimic all of our female issues you know when I say female issues I mean the typical oh the bloat or the distended belly, uh, the backache that just doesn't go away, maybe the irregular cycles, uh, the feeling of feeling full when you take just a couple of bites. If those symptoms go any longer than say a two to three week period, check it out. Something's very wrong. I don't want you to minimize it. I want you to check it out because that's what I had the same classic symptoms of ovarian cancer and now look at me I'm gonna die from it it's just a matter of when uh, but thanks to my excellent medical team I'm still here and I will go into all the details about how to go about that too I was just a very fortunate woman and that it was discovered when it was um, I'm coming to you today because I am posting, uh, I figured what better way to introduce my journey to you by my, what I call my little artistic endeavor. I'm not a professional, but I kind of compiled this little 
pictorial, this video pictorial for you, and I call it my many faces, Sharon's many faces of cancer, and it's going to show, um, well for me, I did it first of all because it was a therapeutic way of me putting out the fat, putting out there that I have cancer, and it was a great way uh, that I realized later of dealing with that fact. I hope it will be therapeutic for you because what it is comprised of is this taking you from my journey from beginning to the present and ultimately ending uh, my journey with this cancer. And you're going to see all the different faces that came about as a result of the cancer as well as the very subsequent treatments uh, of the cancer. And I had to do that because in dealing with the treatments and the cancer, there were times that, in my mind's eye, I was a monstrosity. I didn't even recognize myself. So I digress, and I'm going to cut it short because I will come back with information. I will empower you all with uh, anything you want to know. So be sure to let people know that this lady is coming back. And if you can't find answers from real people about ovarian cancer, I will be glad to be that voice for you. I will be glad to empower you with knowledge about the symptoms of ovarian cancer and where to go from there. And uh, I will even post even subsequent videos showing what the uh, traditional treatments are uh, and so on. So we have lots of information to share for you. I do. I have lots of information to share for you. And I hope it helps save at least one life out there Then I would have done a good thing. So anyway, I want you to check out my video uh, so you can see even though it's it's cancer, you can live with it. And that's why I call it, you folks, um, Sharon's Many Faces of Cancer, Living and Dying with Stage 4 Ovarian Cancer, okay? So thanks for visiting. And like I said, I want to encourage you to post comments and or questions. I will answer them for your, you, so I will be looking for them. Uh, it might take a minute for me to catch on, but I really plan to put it out there and put the word out there that we are up for the fight against ovarian cancer. Love you all. Thank you for checking in with me, and have a blessed day. Okay, now watch the video. Thanks now, and bye-bye. Okay, here we go. This is me at almost a year old in 1957. Me and my favorite baby doll. Just another day at the beach. One of those little famous pictures. <laughs> A proud day, graduation day. Glamour shots. <laughs> this is me before I knew I had cancer. This is me after surgery and the chemo. It almost killed me. Hair growing back, yay! I think the steroids had something to do with that photo. Another steroid moment. <laughs> yes, I had to do the wig. And just a poignant moment. And yes, had to do the hat too. Another day at my oncologist. Another day when I realized I had cancer again. This is me at the famous MRI machine and a rare day outside on chemo. Why not the tattoo? Another day at chemo. Chemo face! <laughs> Another wig moment. Love it. Knocked out at chemotherapy here. I had a reason to smile. Happy days. How many number visits is this? Claiming the victory at chemo. And I'm just happy to be me, folks. Take care. Love you. My many faces of cancer. You guys stand up to the fight against ovarian cancer. Ciao.